Oh, I should clap when I... Yeah, just do it like loud and clear so that... Okay. You can just do it now, it's yeah, recording. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just did Roger Tobin... Hi, welcome to Interviews with Professor. Today, obviously, it's not a professor, it's the president himself, Anthony Monaco. Welcome. Thank welcome. you so much for coming yeah. in. Nice it's to be here. Great honor. And uh, we don't know why you agreed to do it, but we're glad that you did. So th so before we start, uh, we have a couple snacks for you. Great. Uh, the first one we actually have to make. So yeah, let me. So be it, given your, you know, history, we thought we'd make you some English breakfast tea. Right. Twinings. Is it Twinings or Twins? I don't know. It depends on what. Yeah. So this I don't is like the, tea though. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer coffee. Oh. <laughs> you know I'll have tea. But I know how to make it. Well, have you ever used the Sunbeam Hotshot? Um, Do you want to try making it? No, it's just in Britain, um, you always put the milk in before you pour the tea. It's milk. crucial. That's, huh. that's one thing I can... I actually, I put it. milk in my tea, but I put it in after. No, yeah, you have to put it in before and you need to warm it a little bit. That's the trick. Let's just scrap it. Yeah, forget the tea. Alright. Yeah. You probably wouldn't get it right anyway. <laughs> I guess not. Um, we have some... Cocktail Classics Jelly Beans. Ooh. Um, so we have a variety of flavors, actually. What do we have? Um, I'll take you from left to right. Pina Colada, mm. Strawberry Daiquiri, Mojito, Peach Bellini, and Pomegranate Cosmo. Wow. There's no alcohol in it. Oh, uh, okay. Can I have one anyway? <laughs> Please. Okay. Yeah. i got to go with the margarita. Who is the provost? We have an interim provost, right. uh, Peggy Newell. She was the vice provost for research. And we're actively looking for a new provost. Okay, so. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Yep. Did you know what you were getting yourself into? All of these meetings and hosting events? Meeting well, people in my previous job I did a lot of meetings yeah. and chaired a lot of meetings, but I didn't have as much interaction with students and I didn't have as many, say, alumni events and speaking engagements yeah. to go to. So those are like on steroids at the moment. Right. Um, Really, I mean, I love going to the student events. That's a really different than when I was in Oxford. So I try to make the most of that. Come on campus, I can go to. Last time I went to the Hamlet Machine and I saw you at the NEC concert. Yeah, that too. was good. So I went. Very good. I went to that afterwards. Who's the coolest person you've met since you've been on the job? The coolest person. It's a good question, but a, a hard question, I imagine. Yeah. Find the reach. Or so, some of the cool people. Well, uh. uh I don't know. Yeah, one of the nicest people I've met is Coach Don Megerly, who, who was the former swimming coach here, and he runs the Tufts Marathon team. He's been at Tufts for 40 years. Oh my. Wow. He was one of the ones honored this week at lunch. So he's become a good friend, hang out with him. He takes, gets me into the swimming pool. Um, Travis, he, our yeah. cameraman's a swimmer. Are you? Great. Yeah, I'm going mm -hmm. down there after this. Oh, so, great. Yeah, nice. I try to get in there. Do you uh, get out to the Grafton campus ever? Yeah, I go about probably once or twice a month. Really? I was out about a week ago for their white coat ceremony. What is that? Uh, when the students go from their kind of classroom education and they start to see clients in their case, they start working in the Animals. clinics. <laughs> yeah. Would be the clients. Well, the people are clients who bring right. their pets. But, uh, <laughs> um, they, they have a, a very nice ceremony where they're all on stage and one by one they're brought up and a white coat is put on them. I just did that. I did that this morning at the dental school. Oh, okay. cool. And all their parents come and family and friends, so it's, it's really That's nice. That's a big deal. Yeah, there were a lot of people there at the dental school. Are any of the animals in the audience? No. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bit difficult. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I are you going to come to our graduation? Yes. <laughs> Well, you're already, you well, out early. doing the whole... That will be your graduation though, right? Yes. Because there's no other ceremony, so you have to do... You, you just finished in February? Yeah. Okay. They, uh, they emailed me. That was oh, like, all the pomp and circumstances. Congratulations, your diploma will be in the mail in God. six to eight weeks. How yeah. I wish I were in your position right now. It's not that nice. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about passing your uh, math final. <laughs> Good luck with that. Thank you. I really need it. <laughs> you should, you know what you should do is uh, walk up um, the corner of Professor's Row and um, Packard on a Friday at like 2 in the morning and just watch everybody scatter. Because it would be like, you know, oh, Dad's coming out or something. 
Well, I get wake, awoken a few times yeah, on the yeah. weekend. Yeah. Uh -oh. Are you considering leaving? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no not tops the Gifford house. No, no, I can't. It's in my contract. I have to live there. Really? Yeah, yeah. I have to live in the residence. But backup didn't, did he? Of course he did. This is a myth that everyone keeps That's going on. I haven't heard that. I heard he No, lived. it's a myth. He lived there with Adele. They did. They lived there. It's very strange, but that, that was the myth. Yeah. yeah, it's not true. Where was he said to have lived? Brookline, I think. Somewhere. He lives in Brookline now. Right. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. He lived in the house. Oh, well, I've just been spreading rumors. I, I haven't really told that to anybody, but that's what I heard. You're going to hear first. Larry Bacow lived oh, in Brookline while he... <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to eat some more truth. Yeah, I guess. It's like the Matrix. What did you have to... Did he leave anything that you had to, you know, throw Sell out? Sell on Craigslist? Something <laughs> left in the fridge? No, they, no, no, they cleared pretty much everything out, yeah. Does he ever come over? Uh, he, I haven't seen him in a long time. I just had an email from him, so I'm going to try to get together for lunch. Yeah. It'd be nice. So, how old are your kids? 11, 12, and 13. So, when they're like 16, 17, are they going to have parties in the Gifford house? Great question. Great question. <laughs> <laughs> like when you guys go out of town and no one tells? I don't know. And then the whole student body is going to come. <laughs> um, Sorry, just some, yeah, it's just something to look forward to. <laughs> Had you not thought about that? No, no right at all. all. <laughs> We're right. almost out of jelly beans. So yeah. That's actually a good way to. Mark the end of the interview. Once the jelly beans are gone, I think so. So just uh, first year, pretty good so far. Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I know you must get this question a lot. So, could you answer in just one word? Where do you see Tufts in the next ten years? One word. Yeah. Two words. <laughs> Is that hard? I did. I did one word. I, I imagine people ask you that frequently. Impact. Impact. That's a that's a cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh, let's end on that. Yeah. Good. Maybe. <laughs> Last job. Yeah. Please. Sorry. Yeah. I can't believe we ate all of them. <laughs> we did. It. Well, we used to see people more informally than the classroom, I guess. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you know, we the hope is that people will continue to watch them uh, through the years as the you know as the professors stay yep. here, and it'll still be a mm -hmm. fun thing for them. I'd um, love if someone would continue this next year so that way in a couple of years there's a database of 50 or 60 videos yeah. and if you're thinking of a class click on a video yeah. oh yeah. she seems like a nice professor i'll take her. seriously yeah